Good morning, welcome or welcome back to Yoga with Paige. Today's class is all about clearing out what we no longer need to save room and allow more space for the things that we do need and the things that we do want. We're clearing out, we're cleansing, moving the energy around, moving the blood around. We're shaking it up, shaking things off, stirring it up. <laughs> so this, um, this class is all level friendly. I don't use any props. If you normally use a block, you're welcome to grab one. We try a little bit of maybe a challenging part of the sequence pretty, pretty um, early on. So just have fun with it. Have fun with it. Maybe laugh it off if we fall out. Get that good energy going. Try something new. Be exploratory. So whenever you're ready, we start on our feet, standing up at the front of the mat. In mountain pose, grounding through all four corners of the feet, finding our foundation here first and foremost. We need a strong foundation in our practice as well as life to be able to know what we want to clear out and expel, to be able to know what we no longer need, what no longer serves us. So lifting up the toes, rolling the shoulders back, palms, Facing the front of the mat, we're open to receive. Taking a few breaths here. Opening up through the passageways. Opening up the channels for the energy to flow veins for the blood to move. Sending oxygen to the brain. Maybe wiggling the fingertips. And we're gonna open the eyes and on our next inhale, reaching, bending the knees a little bit, reaching the right arm behind and left comes in front, we revolve, inhale. Exhale, bringing both arms above us, facing the front. Hands come to heart center. Inhale to do the same on the other side. Starting to move with the breath. Inhale, making this a fluid motion. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, we're open, we're ready, we're here. And exhale, we're drawing it in, bringing it in and into our heart space. Inhale, we're here and open, ready for love and light. And exhale, bringing it in, maybe pulling it into your chest. One more time, inhale and exhale. Making sure we even out both sides. Inhale, reaching the arms above the head, nice, big and strong, palms come together. Exhale, opening wide, flat back, forward fold. You can keep a bend in the knees. If we're tight in the legs, this is our first movement. Inhale to find length, nice flat back, extending through the crown of the head. Exhale to fold, plant the hands, gently step back into a high plank pose. Hold here for a breath, rocking on the toes, connecting to your core. Slowly lowering down, bending the elbows. Inhale, lifting the chest, coming onto the tops of the feet. Exhale, over the toes, downward facing dog, pedaling out the feet. Taking the feet wide, opening them almost as wide as our mat. Taking the left hand to the right ankle, trying to reach the right ankle, gazing underneath the shoulder, taking this little twist. We have a lot of detoxifying twists in this class. Gently coming back, 
replacing the left hand to lift the right. We're strong in our arms. Exhale, back to downward facing dog, taking the legs into the middle, gazing at the hands and slowly making our way to the top of the mat. Maybe we heel, ball, toe it, heel, ball, toe, forward fold. Inhale to rise, hands come above the head. Exhale, hands to heart center. We ground through the left foot, picking up the right, taking the knee into the chest. Be a nice little squeeze there, opening up through the hips. And then opening up for tree pose, your version. You can have the ankle, the ankle, the foot on the ankle, the calf, or in here, placing it on the inner thigh, just avoiding the knee. We don't want to crush that guy out. So wherever we are today, inhaling the arms above the head, keeping our hips nice and square to the front. We want to think of sending this knee out and back. We're open. Maybe swaying in the breeze like a tree. Taking that right hand, trying to grab um, the big toe, the peace fingers, wrapping peace fingers around the big toe to extend. Keeping the hips square, so dropping that right hip. The leg can be bent if we don't have the accessibility to have this leg straight. And if we can, we're replacing the right hand with the left to revolve, taking the right hand, extending it behind us, taking the gaze past the right shoulder, if we can. And then sweeping back to the front, grabbing hold of the ankle. We can use both arms or we can keep the left out for stability. We're bending the left knee nice and controlled, trying to take this little like pistol squat variation, coming to sit gently on the sit bones, keeping that right leg up high. Holding here, nice hamstring stretch. Can be down here as well. Does not matter how high your leg is. And we're extending the left leg, taking peace fingers around, left hand peace fingers around big toe, extending the right behind us for another twist. Reaching the chest up, our back is nice and long. We're feeling this in the hamstring, the glute. And taking that right hand back, bending the right leg, crossing it over to come into a twist. Sending those left toes up to the sky and taking our twist. The left arm comes to the outside of the right knee. We can find our breath again here. If that was a little challenging, we can take this moment to connect to our breath, reconnect to our breath. And then facing forward, we're going to use this right foot as a little kickstand. So we're going to flip around, taking both hands to the mat. We're coming on to our bellies. Lowering down. Steepling the fingers on the outside of the mat. Untucking the toes. Inhale, lifting the chest. Exhale, forehead comes to mat. Inhale to lift, exhale to come down. Elbows are at 90 degrees. We're flowing with the breath. Feeling the sensation in the spine as we undulate here. We're waking it up, moving the fluid around, warming up the spine. One more inhale and exhale to come down onto the forehead and take the hands in front, placing forearms on top of forearms. 
Reaching that right arm behind us, bending the right knee, coming into a half bow, grabbing the ankle, pulling the ankle into the hips. Getting a nice quadricep stretch. Gently releasing to switch sides, bending the left knee. Nice deep breaths. Finding an area that we're maybe holding on to tension and consciously, lovingly release. Releasing the left leg, extending both arms out in front, picking up the right arm and left leg for alternating locust here. Inhale nice and squeeze and exhale release. Inhale to lift up the other arm and leg, and exhale, release. One more time each side. Maybe we go a little higher. Inhale, lift, and exhale, release. Taking both arms by the sides. We're going to lift up the legs and the arms at the same time. Full locust. Gazes forward, we're active in the whole body, the back, the legs, the arms. <sighs> Gently release. Hands come underneath the shoulders. We press up and back into child pose, sending the hips back, finding a little counter pose for those back bends, maybe moving the hips from side to side taking a wide child pose. If that feels good, you can take the hands, the palms touching and taking them behind the head, walking the elbows out, creating space on the side of the rib cage and the triceps. Exhale. Planting the hands, if we have them raised, coming back up onto the knees into our tabletop, spreading through the fingers. Inhaling to drop the belly, lift the gaze, cow pose. Exhale, rounding through the back, back, back for cat, for cat. Oh my goodness. We're resetting the spine here before doing the other side. Maybe I can reset my brain. Inhale, exhale, working through this spinal movement. Taking a roll if that feels good. Or a more traditional cat-cow, maybe we stick with the traditional. Whatever is gonna help you release a little bit more. One more round. Coming back into our tabletop to tuck the toes and lift the hips for downward facing dog, walking the hands out in front, gazing at the hands, hopping or jumping up to the front, hopping or walking up to the front of mat, forward fold. Inhale to rise, hands come above the head and exhale to heart center. We lift up the left knee, hugging it into the chest, releasing a little bit. <laughs> and opening for tree pose wherever we are on this side. Opening through the hips, sending that left knee back. Arms come above the head. Maybe we open up, opening up space, opening up our hearts. Nice big breath of life, You're strong like a tree. And exhale, straightening that left leg, trying to take the left hand peace fingers, dropping that left hip, making sure we're square. Before trying to revolve, reaching that left hand back. Woo! <laughs> nice and steady, controlled movements. Whoa. 
One more breath. Before reaching that left arm around, coming into our little pistol squat, taking a seat, keeping that left leg raised, and trying to reach our nose to our shin. That's the goal. Look, I'm not there either. Just a nice stretch, holding here. One more breath. Exhale, go a little bit deeper. And then extending the right leg, coming into our revolved variation. Using our core here to help us balance and stabilize. We have a nice twist for our internal organs. A lot of stuff going on. And bending that knee, crossing it over the right leg, coming into our twist. Nice clearing breaths. Taking what we need, leaving what we don't, letting it flow outwards and into the wind. Whoever needs it can take it. We don't need it anymore. Taking our hands to the right side, using that left as a kickstand to flip over back onto our bellies. And bending the left leg reaching the right arm to the side, using it as a little kickstand. We're gonna kick the left leg over. So we're still lying on our right leg, but we have this twist. We can use the left arm up here. Maybe our fingers are steepled. We can lay them flat. We can even reach back, maybe trying to grab the ankle. We can do so many variations. We can have the leg straight, Whatever feels good to you here, we're lying on the shoulder for a nice shoulder stretch. Maybe this leg doesn't touch the mat. It's totally okay. Whatever feels good here. One more breath. And exhale to gently come out, making our way back onto our bellies to come onto the other side, bending the right knee, kicking it over, maybe trying the same variation we did on the other side, maybe trying something new. Challenge yourself today. See what you're capable of, see what you can do. I bet you can do a lot more than you think you can. Breathing into this beautiful shoulder stretch. Mm. And exhaling, coming back through center. Using the hands to gently press up onto the knees. We can come to a seat the front of the mat or the side of the mat, whichever way you're facing, come into an easy seat here. <sighs> Hands to the knees, close the eyes for a moment. Sit up nice and tall and hold yourself here. Notice what comes to mind, what we've worked through in this practice. Maybe noticing something that we've been holding on to that we want to let go. We don't need it anymore, we want it. We want to clear it out. Giving ourselves a moment or two to hold space for whatever that is that's no longer serving us, and that's okay. Maybe it served us for a long time, Maybe just a short time. Maybe it's something we thought we wanted, but we don't really want. And 
you can just lovingly release it. We hold gratitude for his presence and its lessons in our life and this journey. And we realize that it has served its purpose and on it goes. Ending in a little neck roll here. Just a little gentle movement, reminding yourself that you are here for yourself, taking care. You came to your mat today to take care of you. And sometimes that is one of the hardest things to do. And I'm so proud of you. And so grateful that you're here with me today, sharing your practice, your time, your energy. Big inhale, taking hands to heart center. And exhale, release it, let it go. Know that I'm here for you. And I bid you a great rest of your day. Hopefully we were able to release a little bit of that weight that has been sitting in your head, on your shoulders, on your plate. We can feel a little bit lighter. We can go about our day a little bit lighter. Namaste. I will see you next time, my friends. As always, give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. We got to shake off some of that, some of that funk. Leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. I would love to hear how this one went. If you were challenged by that transition, a little pistol squat to uh, hair and toes. And subscribe if you're not already to never miss more daily yoga with Paige. I can't wait to practice with you again. See you next time.